We've of course seen the Rotten Tomatoes scores and we've seen Metacritic, but now let's look at the one that's conducted by people, typically in person, right as people are exiting screenings of the film that they're conducting the survey on. So CinemaScore officially has the score for Aquaman 2. So Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom officially got a cinema score of B. Now, this isn't honestly too bad, I would say. Um, it is definitely on the lower side of things. Like, a B is where The Flash and Batman v Superman sit. And many of the other films either have a B plus or an A minus. Uh, that's the most popular one. Well, B plus is, and then A minus would be second and the only ones with a are shazam and wonder woman so what does this mean if anything at all um nothing it means nothing in my opinion it doesn't matter again it's a review score make of it what you will i'm seeing people right now say that rebel moon is the best cinematic film they've seen in years they couldn't take their eyes off of it it was transformative it's the new avatar it's gonna dominate uh, whatever right like but are you seeing that as well? Like, is that the going consensus with Rebel Moon? No, but there are bubbles. So make of it what you will. Um, I think a B is apt in this. Like one of the worst DCEU films. I, I think it's good here. I think it works. Um, Again, it's not that the film is bad in every single way. But it's that the film kind of doesn't care. And misses some very obvious things. And plot threads and has its problems i think people can pick up on them like how did they forget who mara's father is never once brought up during the film because it could be pretty important to the plot like they straight up ignored elements of the first i don't know it doesn't really matter anymore um it's over thank god it's over uh it ends with a b the lowest score in the dceu and it started off with an A- minus with Man of Steel. So there it is. A full-on journey downwards, I guess. So it's over. That's it. We don't ever have to talk about the DCEU again. In this context of new content. And I um, think we'll all be better for it. I think. I hope. We'll see. We'll see. Wouldn't it be wild if 10 years from now we're looking back on it going, Man, James Gunn really screwed up. That DCEU, though, they knew what was up. Ugh. You know, I say that, but there's TASM heads out there that are convinced that that was the best iteration. So, I guess anything could happen, right? <laughs>